Right, welcome back. In the last session, we got started with creating our Azure Kubernetes service, right? And that's what we have essentially done in the last session. Before we actually start using it, uh, we're going to head back into Azure DevOps session and we're going to create a service connection. Now, what the hell is that service connection? Service connection is the bridge or an authentication mechanism between your Azure DevOps and Azure. Now, this would be common across any of the CI CD platform, be it Jenkins, uh, GitHub, Bitbucket, or GitLab. You've got to have some sort of connection between your cloud, Kubernetes, and uh, the GitLab server, or the build agent, or the CI CD server. So, how do you do that? You go to the project setting. There's something called a service connection into Azure DevOps. You have a bunch of subscription or service connection available over here, right? What we're going to do is we're going to click on the new connection and look for Azure. Type in Azure and we're going to select Azure Resource Manager. We're going to click on the manual one. All right, and then we're going to feed in a bunch of information. Now we need a subscription ID. Now this is the first information you would need. Subscription ID. Subscription is the top level hierarchy into Azure. And then we would need the subscription name. This is basically the logical container. Principal ID. So there's something called as principal ID. So if you go to the home section and then go to Active Directory and then go to app registration I've already created a client ID all right so over here I'm gonna click on the client ID you can just start creating the client ID and I'm gonna copy the client ID come back to my portal paste it right over here secret you need the secret secret is to this is the most important piece of information if you go to the certificate and secret you see that I've generated bunch of certificates and secrets, right? So I'm going to generate a new certificate, rather secret for Helm for Helm auth add, and then this is going to reveal the secret. I'm going to copy the value from here. Come back to my Azure DevOps, post it right over here. And then I'm gonna go to the overview again, copy the tenant ID from here and paste it right over here and then try to verify. Now, as soon as I do the verify and it's successful, you would see that uh, there is a connection being made between both the services. So I am gonna give it a name, Helm Auth. That's about it, verify and save. And then we can use this uh, service connection into our Azure DevOps pipeline in the upcoming session so that Azure DevOps can talk to Azure and start deploying resources or start manipulating and perform any crude operation onto Azure. All right, this is about it, about service connection. I hope this was informative. I'll see you in a while. Thank you.